also have to be aware of some of the nutritional concerns uh, for these individuals with COPD. There is a real tendency toward undernutrition in this population. They're working hard to breathe, so they're burning a lot of calories. They're feeling full faster, so they're not taking in enough calories. And you know, eating is often not un not comfortable for them. It makes them feel short of breath. It's tiring, and so we see all of those things combining and and creating real risk of malnutrition in individuals with COPD. Then they start to become undernourished, and that further affects their muscle mass. We see wasting, particularly of the larger skeletal muscles. It results in impairment in terms of their, their, their immune response. Their immune response is less robust. Uh, and then we see this sort of vicious circle happening where the nutritional compromise is leading to the, the muscle wasting and the immune compromise, which exacerbates the COPD, which then further interferes with their appetite, and you see that these folks kind of get into a cycle that they can't always get out of.